let's jump into today's session. Um, I see that you filled out a lot of your uh, homework, which I'm gonna go ahead and share screen. Cool. Yeah, I did the second profile. I haven't completed the third, but I, I've got a I've got a good concept of what that is now too. So good, 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 good. <laughs> So you and I did to, uh, did the young baller, which was yep. up here. What I want to do real quick though, is I just want to delete like the old, if that's okay. Yeah, it's good, man. Just the solution, because I just want to get this, I want to keep this real clean. Uh, okay, there's Gary. Okay. All right, so we got Tony Simmons. <laughs> we got Gary Wilson. So basically what we're doing is we're creating these user types, these these customer personas so that we can dial in, you know, tightly and very much more laser focused with our marketing and our branding. Um, so talk to me about Gary. So Gary is, he's the boomer business owner, man. He's at the end of his career. He's done it all. He's won it all. He's, he doesn't have a lot of drivers, but he's facing the legacy question really hard right now. And he knows that there's a transition coming, but he's not fully prepared for that transition. He knows he's either going to sell or pass, uh, pass the business to somebody. And he hasn't done everything he needs to make sure that that transition goes well and that there's momentum when he when he passes the baton mm. Mm. All right. he's got about a three to ten million dollar organization so he's got all the cash he has one of the things he's done is i wouldn't say neglected but he hasn't cared for his team as much as he as much as he could have and he's starting to recognize that Man, that's tough to deal with at that age. So, so he needs. So, all right. So, let's get into his needs. Yep. So, like I said, he has everything he wants except for the lingering suspicion that he could have done more. Um, retirement's approaching, and he, he sees it. The company's momentum is stagnant or declining. He hasn't embraced the application of technology and he doesn't want to spend the time to learn it. He's got some pretty old school concepts. He loves his team. He appreciates his clients. He wishes he would have done more, but his legacy is unclear right now. Okay. All right, so what are we gonna do? What's Jesse Miller gonna do? The, yep. the, 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 the CEO's coach yep. to help him so he needs, what he needs are, he needs a protege. He needs maximum value for his business when he sells. He needs to kickstart growth in his company. He needs a better technology inter integration and leverage points. He needs a technology done for him. He needs new generation thoughts. He needs to leave the company in a good spot for his team. He let off the gas and he knows it. So he needs something to help energize him for this next couple of years. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a plan to pass the baton, whether it's him selling or whether it's him maintaining ownership and an advisory role and developing, developing that leader from within e either way, we'll help him get there, but we'll help him get clear on what he wants and we'll attack a plan to get him there. Uh, we're going to provide some simple, low-cost growth strategies initially to fund the other pieces that they need. Okay. Uh, we're going to provide weekly coaching and access to the CEO's coach on an ongoing basis for himself and or pieces of his team as necessary. We're going to provide him with access to my implementation team, which I'll need to build. Um, but And I'll provide him access to my network of young entrepreneurs so that we can do this mentorship exchange and those guys can bring in some of the new new thoughts 
We're gonna provide development resources for him and his team. We're gonna provide a path of business growth by creating momentum. We're gonna provide the motivation to make the final push. I like it. I like it a lot. Now you see how clear this got? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I did an exercise yesterday with my mindset coach, man, and I have to tell you, it felt like I walked out of there floating because I, I said I finally gave myself the time to do this. And I yep. needed to get to the bottom of something and I and I was able to do it because I took the time to actually do this. You know how many times people just rush? Let's just start marketing. Let's just get out there. Let's do this. Yep. So everything's starting to get a little bit more focused. Good. Um, and, and I like it and I like it. And you're being really articulate with it too, which I'm picking up on, which I, I love. All right, so this is cool. So let's do this. Let's, let's, let's knock out customer persona three and we're done and then we'll yep. we'll get into the next thing so let me copy make a little divider here East. we'll get into persona three and then i'll let you take the wheel so i'm gonna back out all right i haven't picked out a name yet his name his uh his hashtag would be the artisan all right type it in Okay. And let's name him. We got a name. Um. This one's kind of giving me, let me go back to what I have already. I started doing it. I did it on an individual sheet because I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. it helps me. Yep. stuff cleaned up man yeah, no I like that you dumped it though yeah here we go uh, I put Anthony Frank on there <laughs> 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 you can tell him I've been talking to him. I know you've been talking to him too it's good yeah. he needs some help man uh-huh uh-huh All right, go for it. All right, that's what I have. Demographic wise. And let's try to pinpoint an actual age. Okay. Oh yeah, I've done a lot of this. Good. Yeah, I guess I've done it. I just didn't copy it in there. screwed something up where yeah let me undo real quick yeah you can do that and then I'm just gonna pop in keep working I'm just gonna yep all right so I, I had this one flushed out I didn't I didn't realize it so okay. I'm gonna buff this we just gotta get his name up there. Hold on one sec. Copy. Paste. 
Can we change it to Franco? Just to protect yeah, it works. The, just to protect the uh, innocent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Anthony Franco better anyway. It's good. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're good to go. Let's rock. All right. So he's 38. He's a male. He's making you know roughly 500 to 3 million in, in revenue a year. Lives in Las Vegas. He's married. He enjoys family time, live entertainment, playing with his expensive toys, dune buggy, four wheelers, boats, that kind of stuff. Loves uh, nice cars, those types of things. He'll hit the occasional guy night. He's at the personal development conferences and trade shows. He's, he's definitely actively looking, but he hadn't found the great answers yet. So where are they in life? They're at pretty good cash flow. Um, they don't have a clear plan for business growth other than hustle. They're still living week to week long after they'd hoped to. Mm-hmm. The responsibilities of life and business ownership are facing him. Mm. And he's not real sure how to handle it. Um, he begins to ask, he's beginning to ask the legacy question but he hadn't really built a vision to, or a business to support that. Unclear vision and jaded optimism literally hates hype. Um, he's really good at what he does. And his needs are, he needs clarity on the future. He needs clarity on what he wants out of life and out of his business. He needs strong relationships, mentors, coaches, advisors, third party. Uh, this is where I didn't change it a whole lot. Okay, I need to flip through these some more. Mm-hmm. We can flush that out together. Go ahead. Yeah, I left that. I left the, uh, I think I left the young. Yeah, I got a couple of different things in here. So mm-hmm. okay, his story, his needs, solutions. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you'll have some insight on this one. Yep. I'm really close to this age. I know you are as well. So, mm-hmm. and this is your this is your bread and butter client. So, yeah. Um, I mean, this is. It sounds like you. It sounds like there's a couple of things that um, it's not aligning with me, but there's a, quite a bit that is. And so, okay. I'm gonna be your client now for a second and kind of walk you, help you help you get through this. So, cool. we definitely need clarity of the future need clarity of what he wants in life and out of business needs strong relationships mentor coaches advisors yep third party needs something that grounds him right like for me it's my son he's been a very yeah. he's he's been that ground since he's since he's come and, and it's just amazing um what that does for me and 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 what i put you know what my what my priorities are at this point right so yeah. Uh, he needs a model to follow, learn the things that he doesn't have down. Right. One of the things that uh, I think I'm needing um, is the refinement of the process. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. looking, I'm looking, I have a process in place. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's good, but I'm constant, yeah. I'm constantly revising it to try to uh, make it as efficient and as impactful yeah. as possible. So yeah. So it's that model, right? Um, okay, so yeah. So instead of example, go ahead. here's what I'm thinking, man. This may be this may be really crucial. Is it, it needs self awareness. Oh, hands um, down. I think it. I think at this age, we can understand who we are and embrace it. And it, so I, I can, I can lead through that process, man. I've been been getting really good at personality typing and understanding that stuff and helping people just get very solid on who they are. And the cool thing that that does is that helps them understand who they need around them and, and how they need to build their team to reinforce uh, reinforce the gaps that they have because everybody has gaps. Mm-hmm. So let's get that down there. Uh, okay. Needs self-awareness. Needs better self-awareness. <laughs> screwing it up <laughs> all right cool all i do right. i think there's something there with the grounding factors you know we're mm-hmm. just really starting to embrace being grounded but i don't know that we know how to 
how to really relate to that well. So if I can create some resources there, that would be good. So we kind of have things that ground us, but I mean, who wouldn't, who doesn't want to be a better dad or a better husband or a better, uh, you know, better at those elements of life. And, and I'm, I'm embracing this role as a CEO coach and it's two part, it's dual sided, it's enjoyment in life and it's more money in business. So I, I know I can, I know I can add some stuff there. So, okay. Okay. So it sounds to me, um, there, there's a lack of purpose in this, in, 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 in Anthony's life. Like he, he doesn't have that really dialed in. That's, that's the key. He hasn't put all of it together. Uh-huh. I think he, you know, I think he understands the value he creates pretty well, but he didn't have a great vision for the future and he hasn't tied all the parts of his life together in a way that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, all right. So what, so the last two in this section looks like it's from another user type. So let's, let's get two new ones for, for Anthony. Okay. What, what else does he need besides self-awareness and the, and the, and the three above? Yeah. He needs to, uh, he needs to enjoy his life more. Mm, I like that. So yeah, let's get that down. You know, there's more to, (laughs) I was saying this to myself the other day, you know, there's more to life than watching. Well, well, there's more to life than consuming hours of content per day in your target audience, like in your niche, in your industry. But like, I, I noticed my, like my cousin says to me over the holidays, he's like, dude, you should subscribe to business week. You should start reading business week. It's got a, they got a lot of cool articles in there about many different things. And I, he goes, every time there's one about branding, I think of you, but he was like, there's a lot of other things in business, uh, a business insider it's called, um, that could give you like tons of fodder and just give you, you know, a different look on things and, and a different pulse on things. And he was like, it's good to know everything about your industry, but it's also good to take a step away from it and kind of smell what's going on outside of it. Yep. Because, and, and it was funny, I was listening to a, um, you know who Gene Schwartz is, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I got good. some, yeah, I got some audio from him and he was like, dude, you really want to know, uh, what's in the, what's in the minds of your audience. Start reading the popular, uh, publications yep. out there like, yep. like Vogue magazine, yep. right? Like, um, Vanity Fair, he talks about. Yep. Right? I call and, it Snapchat today. Yes. <laughs> read, read the stories they post. Yes, exactly. And that's going to give you a lot of, 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 of play. Yep. So yep. good stuff. All right. So he needs to enjoy life more, needs to implement all of his compiled knowledge. Okay. That's a good one. Anything else? He needs and a it, framework. Yes. hundred percent. Needs a framework to implement all of his compiled knowledge. hundred percent. And there could be different frameworks yep. in, inside of one business. There could be multiple. Huge. Huge. Okay. Anything more? I like to keep these to six, but if there's, if you got to keep going, you got to keep going. No, I, I think that's good. I think that's good for today. Okay. Now let's this go. This is to... a good start. I know these, I know these get fleshed out the more more I interact with them too. So that's right. That's right. All right. So how about solutions? Yep. So yep. Model framework blueprint. That's the clarity on the future. Mm -hmm. Clarity out of what he wants in life and out of his business. Integrating personal goals with business structure. Relationships. You writing this down? Yeah, it's all on there already. I'm just flipping back and forth. Oh, we, I don't think I changed those from the young baller. I see. Because I, I, I think those needs kind of cross both of these these categories. The young baller is just going to be harder to get get his freaking attention. Yep. Yeah. So, and that's yep. that's where I'm thinking the first one I focus on is the boomers because if there's money, I know I can get the young baller's attention to get them on some of this implementation piece, gain some value, gain their ear, and that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I got it. All right, so you see the see the see them scrolling down. Yep. Their story needs and solution again. Were you working off of this one? No, right? No, no, no. We can All erase right, so, that. Okay. Just want to make sure. All right. So now we're cleaned up. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Excellent. So yeah. So these solutions are we're going to keep them. For, for Anthony. Awareness. Needs to go. understand personality. Mm -hmm. Dude, I've got some killer stuff here, man. Freaking killer. Mm. On personality types? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've got it down to about, I'd say 10 questions max to get mm. somebody typed pretty well. Nice. And the cool thing is, man, once you once you have that type and you're solid on it, it's it provides incredible clarity. It's not yeah. the end all be all, but it, it provides pretty incredible clarity, man. And it'll it. it'll help, it'll help marriages big time. Mm. I love it. All right, so here's an exercise that I want to go through with you, and it's called the love hate listing. do is well, and then what I want to do is I want to nail down at least 10 at least 10 and I'm gonna let you do the typing what are 10 things that you absolutely love and it doesn't need to be specifically in business it could be just in general yeah. but the things that you you value Okay, <laughs> I love it. another one isn't it Com what's combat sports is it mma boxing oh okay, okay. this is that whole that whole world got it scared that these came this late <laughs> that happened to one of my other clients the other day we were laughing we were like i guess he's like uh i guess my family <laughs> <laughs> i was cracking up all right my wife my kids we got three more to play with Let's get to the fun stuff. <laughs> what are ten what are ten things we absolutely hate? Is that the right color? Uh, it doesn't need to be colored. Facebook a little this morning.
mentally weak, yeah. Drama. I like that. Oh yeah, that's a terrible one. It's a it's I mean it's a good one, but it's it's a sin. Unfulfilled potential. It's like the Bronx tale, the saddest thing in life is wasted talent. Yep, it's true, man, it's real. Good list. <laughs> we got. I, I know a couple more in there. We got. We got. We got three more. We could do it. We could do it. Give me um, some jogs, man. What? what yeah, what I'm gonna give you. Some, yeah. So things. So if I have to think about Jesse Miller for a second, put myself in his shoes. Um, I would. Think that's another one. There we go. Um, I would say like lack of integrity, you know, lack of follow through. Yeah, and that goes hand in hand with cheap talk to me. Okay, okay. And, mm, I would say like, you know, some of the words that I'm thinking is like inconsistency, bad business, yeah, bad business environment, yep. One more, we got this. Yeah, and I was also gonna say like fakers, you know, like entrepreneurs. I don't think you have any, you don't have any tolerance for that. I can tell. I have empathy for them, but I don't have much tolerance. I'll tell them that you don't need to be a business owner. That's right. <laughs> pretty pretty that's, clearly. That, that, that's right. I was thinking color wise, like black, red, gold, things along those lines. I don't know the significance of them. I haven't, I haven't spent the time to look at that, but. Yeah, we got that covered for you. Yeah. I want, cool. I want to, this is a lot of the stuff that like you and I must go through. Yeah. In order to get to that. To right? nail it. Yeah. Right. So there are general attributes. There are cultural attributes. There are community. Voice. Impact. out as best we can so the general attributes of integrity enterprises and the ceo's coach we need to make a list of general attributes so think adjectives that best describe your business uh, results oriented boom great one Go. 
um, systematic. Yeah, so put it underneath. Just keep it in return. Okay. Make a giant list. Personal. Love it. Custom. Mm. Emotionally intelligent. Love it. Mission driven. I was just thinking. Insightful. Great. Strategic. Strategic. How about empowering? Yep. Motivating, empowering. Put them both down. Lexi is coming out. <laughs> I got you. Direct. Mm, I like that one. Clear. How about self aware? Yep. Excuses. I would say instead of no excuses, the adjective would be persistent, consistent. Ownership. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's another word for ownership? It's um, responsible. Yes. What was the second? What was the last two we just mentioned? Uh, ownership. No, not no, not before that. Um, I mentioned them. What the hell was it? <laughs> you might have thought them. I don't remember. Thought them. I said them. Um, so I said responsible. What were the other two? There was two right in my head. Leadership. Hmm. Oh, I said persistent, consistent. Both of those are good. Mm -hmm. I would say you're very thought provoking as well. It's a great list. All right. For the lack of time, I'm gonna go to, let's go to cultural. Cool. All right, so think of the, think of the cultures, think of the setting. Think of when, you know, think you have a, you have a private Facebook group, right? And you have a 10,000 people in it, right? And all these people are, you know, looking up to you, waiting for your next post. And you have this culture. Look at the ClickFunnels community, right? Yep. There's a few things that I absolutely agree with. There's another side that I don't necessarily agree with. Yeah. And that's okay, right? But what are some of the cultural adjectives that we can connect to Integrity Enterprises and the CEO's coach? Um, first one that jumps to my mind is a leader of experts. Okay. I don't know if, I don't know if that's connected or not. Um, I would think, I would think, uh, no, it's not, not quite. You know what I'm, what I'm thinking is like facilitative. Yeah. You run a very facilitative culture. G give me, give me more contacts. Okay. So I can see you doing the talking, 
but then also saying, because you said you wanted to build out your execution team, you not just doing the talk, but giving them the resources to actually facilitate the thought yep. or to facilitate the suggestion to yep. execution rather than just be lip service to them. So you're, you're being very facilitative. Yeah, in, and I, I think that's a great description for and what a CEO does is they're not, they, they have an overview of everything. They understand everything. They understand the way that everything works, but they're not the implementation team. They can't. That's, they can't, exactly. They can't be. So I think you're also, um, there's, there's, you're bringing in that creative, that younger creative blood, especially for the boomers. So I put creative there. So okay, I screwed that up. Yeah, this one, this one I'm having some problems with. I'm with you. I'm with you. So there's a, so I think you come across very authentic. So I would put that as a very, you're not going to do business with half-assed phony baloney people. No. So that culture is going to spread. And don't be afraid to put like, so, so what type of music do you like? Cause that's cultural podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That tends to be bumping in the, <laughs> in my cars lately. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a high T man. So on the scale, there's a dichotomy of feeling and thinking and I'm, I'm a high T on the, so there's four dichotomies and personality types. I like music. Uh, if I listen to something, it's going to be, it's going to be more bluesy, more, uh, okay. soulful that, okay, put, put that down. Soulful jazzy. I like soulful. Okay. Is direct a cultural statement? <laughs> I know um, we've said that already. I, straightforward, straightforward. You know, you could put straightforward slash no BS. That's very cultural. You know, the way you some of these may overlap, not all of them, but some of them, when I think of Jesse Miller and I see him on social media, I see him as a very caring guy. I see you jumping in there, you know, in the Facebook groups that at least we're, we're together in, you know, I see you jumping in and, and sharing that true, oh my God, like it's, it's so helpful. It's so, I want to be there to serve you. God. It's funny. I saw you in a group once and you, you said something like you use the language, like I'm here to serve you or something like that. Right. And for me personally, I was taken aback so much by that because like in where I grew up, it was like, you weren't like, you weren't a servant to anybody. Like that's, that's, what do you call it? Like, that's like, that's like being low budget or low, low on the totem pole, low on the socio yeah. socioeconomic status. But yeah. you jumped in there and you were like, I'm here to serve you. And a few other coaches back in the day actually mentioned that word servient. And yeah. it did, it never resonated with me forever until I like, wore it for a month and I started to get a little bit used to it and realized that that is the way that the, the masters <laughs> yeah. think and the way that they live their life. And that's, that's, 
that's that's powerful. So what I would put is I would put like Soviet leadership is a is a cultural. What about so? Like I'll I'll literally if we're connected, I'll fight for you. I don't know how to say that as a cultural statement, but that's who I want to attract to man. People that are, I know one of the terms out there is the sheepdog, but I, I don't know how to say that in a way that people would, that my ideal clients would connect with. I, I know it. I know the word. Okay. It's in, it's invested. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. I think you share a transparency in your community. You're the first one to say, listen, I don't know the answer to that, but I will surely find it for you. And that's where your investment, your invested, you know, sort of that drive comes in. I think the, I think your culture is very driven. Yeah, we don't stop to celebrate. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> I, I need to do more of that. Right. I think it's uh, innovative. Let's get to let's get the community. So now let's take ourselves out of the spotlight and put and put the community in the spotlight. So we're looking at Anthony Franco, we're looking at the young baller, we're looking at who was the middle one? The boomer. The boomer. Yes. So we're looking Mr. at Wilson. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. So we're looking at the community and now this is okay. If we, if we have to share some negative adjectives here, um, because we want to really identify the attributes of, of the community. So think the people that are going, that you're going to be serving and think what the, what's going on in their life. So again, you can resort back to looking up uh up top but like some of the one is is the one word that comes to mind is they're seeking they're they're seeking yep. for answers you know they're busy yep let's not forget that i think another word you mentioned before there because the, the they're questioning legacy and what that looks like i think uh a word that comes to mind is longing. You know what I mean by that? Yep. Okay. Longing for significance is why I'm going to put that. That's it. I think they're a little, uh, I think they're a little disorganized. Yep. Yeah. If you let this personality type go without checks, it's, a, it's disorganized. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think they're a bit concerned. Yep. I think they're family oriented. Yeah. Some of them, the baller's not yet. No, nah, cause yeah, he doesn't know what that feels like yet. He's smashing it right now. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, family oriented. Uh, would, you, would you say that they, uh, they feel a bit isolated? Yeah, absolutely. A bit marginalized. That could yep. be another. That could be another one. Jaded comes to mind too. Okay. I know I already used it, but uh, would they be a bit anxious? Yeah, definitely have some anxiety. Okay, that's that's one of my mottos: is kill anxiety. Yeah, yeah. And how do you kill anxiety? Get them centered. Preparation. Get them yep. on a mission. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I would definitely put legacy here. They care about legacy. Mm -hmm. I 
I think they're seeking solace. Define that word for me. I gotta look it up myself because it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it, it's so comfort or cons- uh, uh, consolation in a time of distress and sadness. So they're looking for you. They're looking for that guide. Man, that makes a lot of sense because most of them have had to fight very hard to get where they are. And they're they're looking for some things that they can ease into right now that are significant and valuable. And they don't have to fight to maintain. Right. So they're seeking it. So make sure that you put seeking solace. I think they're proud. Yeah. I think they're truly proud of what they've accomplished. Yep. So they may have a little ego problem. A little bit. A little bit. I think they're they're they create value. Okay, good. Just unbold that. Yep. I was getting it <laughs> from my um, feeler. Would you, would you consider them being social human beings? Or more I think they have a desire to be, but a lot of their situation hasn't really let them. It hasn't created significant relationships, but they desire that. Absolutely. Okay. So we would say desire social relationships. Significant. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was saying to one of my clients the other day, like, and you heard me say this a thousand times, but if I didn't have this, what we're doing right now, you know, you and I working on that, on, on our relationship, getting you to where you want to be, like, just put me in a box, man, because it's like, it's, it's sort of a, it's so funny. Like it's, I don't want to go down this rabbit hole for the sake of time, but like, 90% 90% of designers or, or branders are, they're very introverted. And so yeah. for, for me to find that to be my superpower, but then flip it on its head and be like, this is how I'm going to do it. And yep. it's, it's the complete opposite of that. I think that is one of the things that made me aware of my unique, you know, yep. proposition in my business. And, and, and it took a while for me to understand that. Um, I knew I felt it, but I didn't know how to articulate it. I didn't know yep. how to tell people that, right? And so knowing that is is half the battle. So, all right, for the sake of time, I want to get into brand voice because that, that was actually the topic of today's conversation with me and my emails and how important your personality is. And because you're such a, a, a personality buff, if you will, um, this one should be this one should be pretty good. Now, again, we're going back to now, Jesse Miller as the voice of the brand. And so what what voice do you want your how do you want to be heard is the question. How do you how do you truly want to be heard? Um so I want get, the way I want other people to view me is first thing that comes to mind is innovative. Okay, put it down. A leader. Yep. And we talked about this in another conversation, but I think friendly is yep. one. Is one, you know, your I, your, ex, I, your, ex, your exterior is so powerful and large, you yeah. know. When they finally get to meet the inside, it's like, oh my god, this guy is just a he's just a genuine dude. I had a I had a conversation along those lines today. I just met a CEO of a local tech company and. Uh, she was like, man, I thought you were going to be an asshole from everything I saw. <laughs> and when I got to meet you, I could see you're genuinely nice and friendly. So yeah. I need to so, soften that. I know yeah. my LinkedIn, I need to get something in that softens that really quickly. Yeah. So here's a couple. I think you're extremely confident, approachable, genuine. Yeah, this will be good to speak over me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The no, approachable no, no, no. piece. Yeah, um, genuine. I think you're, you have a, um, again, this is sort of part of genuine, but like you're ultimately curious. 
Yep. Like, like you really, like when you, you were working with me, you were genuinely curious of, you know, what the inner workings yep. of my business in my head, you know, yep. we went there, we went there a few, a few calls. And so, um, I think you're, you, you are calming and soothing. The other thing that, that comes to mind is you're non-judgmental. I think you're, you're, you're validating. I think one here is, especially in your role is you're guiding. And I think to follow up with what that woman said um, to you today, I think you're disarming. How can I say I believe in people? Committed. You're committed to, to, to them. So cool. I think you're, I think, yeah, that's a nice list. And then we could go into, we could go into impact. This one I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a cap on. Let's see how many we can fire out in two and a half minutes. So I'm actually gonna time you. This is the impact I create for my clients. Uh, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. This is, yes, the emotional, the qualitative. Okay, the emotional impact. Yeah. Um, freeing. Okay. Confident. Got it. Clear. Yeah, put it in. Hurry up. Confident. Oh no, this is under impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the wrong spot. Yeah. We'll clean it up later. Confident. Clarifying. I think you're purposeful. Purposeful. The real deep yep. You said confident. Uh, I think you're unifying. You're going to help them connect with their teams. Yep. Again, think emotional. I think you're very warm, inviting, or two. I think you're very collective. So you're, again, you're, you're, you're data driven. but I'm gonna get you going. Right. Um, I think you're very responsible. When I tell you to do a task, you do it. Hmm. See how quick we work when we get timed? <laughs> <laughs> Put some pressure on it, baby. Yeah. I think, um, I think you have an overall feeling of content. Yep. Yeah, that's something that's huge, man. I mean, I never, I don't see you, I don't see you stress. I think you feel like you, you know when times are tight that they will prevail, like you will prevail. Yep. Yeah, and I think that's, that's powerful. I think you're very self-aware five seconds but developing like I'm gonna bring stuff out of people that's it all right let's 
stop it. We'll clear it. Stop watch. Reset. All right, let's get into tangible. Now, tangible is outcome driven. Like, like this is what we want to think about here. Yeah. So we want to think of the tangibles. What are they going to get when working with you? Hmm. Do you think security? I'm going to get them comfortable. I'm going to say comfort because I'm going to get them comfortable being unsure. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get yeah. them comfortable being pulled. Okay. How about you're going to get them resources? Yep. You're gonna be able to have them be more impactful. Yep. I think you're gonna save them a hell of a lot of time. Yep. I think you're gonna save them more money. I think you're gonna be able to identify their values. So identify values. Yeah, that's the first stuff we're going to dig in. Yeah. All right, my dude. I think that's a great list.